Lesson seventeen. T d. Part one. Words. A tap. A dog. A tape. A duck. A hat. An ID card. A heart. A blackboard. Part two. Questions and answers. Is picture one a tap or a tape? It's a tap. Tap and tape are quite different in meaning. This is a tap. That is a tape. Is picture three a hat or a heart? It's a hat. This is a hat. That is a heart. Is picture five a duck or a dog? It's a duck. It's a Peking duck. Is picture seven an ID card or a credit card? This is an ID card. That is a credit card. Part three, dialogue. What's the date today? December the fifteenth. The day after tomorrow is Little Tom's birthday. Right. What present should we give him this time? By the way, how old is he? Thirteen today and tomorrow. Fourteen the day after tomorrow. How time flies! He's a big boy now. And don't forget Mary, Tom's twin sister. It's her birthday too. Okay, let's invite all their little friends to come and celebrate. Part five: Additional pronunciation drills. Exercise one. T, d, tie, die, tear, dear, time, dime, town, down, t, d, at, add, meet, need, coat, cold, bright, bride. Exercise two. We missed each other a lot. I walked alone for a long time. She reached the station at ten. We laughed and laughed. The baby screamed all night. He has lived in Beijing for ten years. I received your letter yesterday. She travelled around the world last year. He recommended me for the job. We boarded the plane on time. My mother wanted to go by train. Bob admitted he was wrong. Exercise three, one. I am taking a course at a technical college. Who is your teacher? Mr. Tom Atkins. But I thought Mr. Tom Atkins taught at Harvard. He taught there last term. I see. Two. I'm the daughter, and I have two brothers. I'll write it down. And then there's Dennis, doctor. Dennis. Dennis is the dog. Oh, the dog. That's D E N N I S. Dennis, doctor. Dennis. Yes, I got it. Lesson eighteen. K, g, part one. Words. A cat. A girl. A key. A gate. A lock. A jug. A birthday cake, a bag. Part two: Questions and answers. Where's my door key? In your pocket, I think. Where's my new lock? Right here on the desk. Where's Tom's birthday cake? In the fridge. Where's the little girl? She's at the school gate carrying a school bag. Today's her first day of school. What's in the woman's hand? 
Well, a jug of beer for her husband and a bag of bananas for her little daughter. Part three, dialogue. Was it a good game? It was a terrific game. You had a good day for it. Yes, a beautiful day. Did Tom score? He scored twice. And you? Now, where did I put that can of beer? Did you score? Ah, got it. Perhaps next time. Certainly, I'll score one goal at least. Part five: Additional pronunciation drills. Exercise one: K, G, come, game, came, gum, coal, go, class, glass. G, lack, lag, duck, dug, pick, pig, lock, log. Exercise two. A milk jug. Catch a cold. A cold girl. A bag of sugar. A frog on the pig. The girl at the gate. Give her the bag. Make it quick. All that glitters is not gold. Cut your coat according to your cloth. A good beginning makes a good ending. Exercise three. Where are you going, big pig? Big pig. I'm going to dig in the garden. In the garden to dig. Disgraceful pig! Beg pardon, ma'am. Beg pardon. Lesson nineteen. V. Part one. Words. Food. A vendor. Flower, vegetable, laugh, drive, cough, dive. Part two: Questions and answers. What do you see on the table? Food, lots of food, enough food for an army. What do you see in this picture? A flower, a red red rose. Rose is the symbol of love. What's the man in this picture doing? He's laughing. He's just heard a funny story. What's the girl doing? She's coughing. She has a cold, I'm afraid. What does the vendor sell? He sells all kinds of vegetables and fruits. What's the girl doing? She's diving from a high platform. Oh, what a beautiful dive! Part three, dialogue. Hello, Vicky. Hi, David. What a beautiful necklace! Gosh, I've never seen anything like it. Well, you can have it for eleven hundred pounds as a friend. I think seven hundred is enough. What? Seven hundred? Well, eight hundred then. No, one thousand at least. Eight hundred and fifty. You are a thief, Vicky. Okay, eight hundred and fifty. Part five: Additional pronunciation drills. Exercise one. F, v, fan, van, few, view, ferry, very, fort, vault. Life. Live. Leaf. Leave. Safe. Save. Half. Half. Exercise two. Laugh and cough. Never laugh. Seven's enough. Vicky's flowers. Five thieves. A fine voice. Serve at five. A beautiful dive. 
We serve coffee at five. Vivian is a voluble fan. The vote was negative, not positive. Victor plays the violin very well. The detective found various photos in the file. Exercise three. What are you doing, Victor? I'm making a list of food and drinks. What for? What for? For the party, of course. Party? What party? We're having a Valentine's Day party. Oh, I forgot. Who's invited? We've invited all our friends from the sophomore class. Can I help you with anything? You'd be a big help. Well, here's a list of some of the food you could buy. Okay, just leave it to me. I'll take care of it. Thanks. See you at five. <laughs> Lesson twenty. <sniffs> Part one. Words. A thumb. This dog. A thread. That cat. Birth. Arthur's mother. Death. Martha's father. Part two. Questions and answers. Look at this picture. What is it? It's a thumb, the biggest finger on my hand. And look at that picture. What is it? It's a thread and a needle. We use a thread and a needle when we saw. What do you see in this picture? The birth of a lovely baby. How happy the father is! What do you see in that picture? The death of an old man. His wife and daughter are crying. What do you see in this picture? A dog and a cat. They are fighting each other. Who's the woman in that picture? She's Arthur's mother. She's the mother of Arthur. Who's the man in this picture? He's Martha's father. He's the father of Martha. Part three, dialogue. And while you're up there. Could you pass me that cup too, Martha? Oh, you mean this one, Father? No, not that one. The other one. Yes, that's it. There you are, Father. Is that all? Yes, that's all for the moment. Thank you, Martha. Part five: Additional pronunciation drills. Exercise one. Th, bath, bathe, breath, breathe, cloth, clothes, teeth, teeth, thick, thick, thing, sing, think, sink, thank, sank, d, then. Then, those, those, they, they, there, there, th, z, teeth, teeth, seeth, seeth, clothes, clothes, rise, rise, th, t, thought, taught, theme. Team, thick, tick, thank, tank, first, first, thought, thought, thrill, thrill, three, three. Exercise two. Three brothers. This month. Rather thick. Mother and father, thirty thieves, in the bathroom, a wealthy father, through thick and thin. Together they went through thick and thin. 
Father and mother used to be healthy and wealthy. It was difficult to breathe in such cold weather. My brother would rather sleep than eat. Exercise three. One. There was an old woman, and nothing she had, and so this old woman was said to be mad. She had nothing to eat. She had nothing to wear. She had nothing to lose. She had nothing to fear. She had nothing to ask, and nothing to leave. And when she did die, nobody grieved. Two. This is used for something near. That means something over there. These and those mean two or more. Those are far, and these are near. <laughs> Lesson twenty one. S z. Part one. Words. Sit. Zoo. Stand. Zebra. Rice. Doze. Juice. Nose. Part two. Questions and answers. Is she standing or sitting? She is sitting. She's sitting on the floor and watching TV. Is he sitting or standing? He is standing. He's standing on the stage and singing a song. Is this a bowl of rice or a glass of orange juice? It's a glass of orange juice. I drink a lot of orange juice every day. What animal is this? It's a zebra. It's a beautiful animal. Where can I see the zebra? You can see it in the zoo. There are many zebras in the Beijing Zoo. What's the boy doing in this picture? He's dozing off in class. He's a lazy boy. He doesn't like to study. Part three: Dialogue. He has lots of hobbies. And he's always busy with his pictures and roses. He's won a dozen prizes for his pictures and roses. But as for his business in the city, he lets his cousins look after his business. He sounds more like an artist than a businessman. Part five: Additional pronunciation drills. One. S. Z, su, zu, sip, zip, sink, zinc, rice, rise, race, raise, dice, dies. Two. A silver spoon. Something sweet. A special season. A simple design. The zebra in the zoo. Susan's zebra. Sally saw a snake in the grass. Lisa has lost her purse. Those boys made a lot of noise. Their cries could be heard for miles. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Three. I'll sing you a song. Yes, sing a song, but don't sing a sad song. Most of my songs are sad. Sorry. Well, please sing one that's not sad. Okay, I'll sing San Francisco then. <laughs> Lesson twenty-two. Sh, z. Part one. Words. Shirley. Shirley's high-heeled shoes. Shirley's T-shirt. Shirley's hairbrush. 
Shirley's rouge and lipstick. Shirley's garage. Shirley's treasures. Shirley's pleasure boat. Part two: Questions and answers. What's the English for goo? It's sheep. One sheep, two sheep, three sheep. Sheep is a special word. What's the English for 倒退 It's ship, a sailing ship, a merchant ship, a warship. How do you say một đĩa cá in English? A dish of fish. By the way, fish is my favorite dish. What do you say to someone who thanks you? One of the things you can say is, "My pleasure." Now, what's the English for nhà để xe? Garage, a one-car garage, a two-car garage. We have two cars, so we have a two-car garage. Part three, dialogue. Sheila, what time should we meet tomorrow? The usual time, two o'clock in the afternoon. What place? The usual place, in front of the treasure house. And what should I wear? Your usual shirt and shoes. What are you going to wear? Nothing unusual, I'm afraid. Sheila, how about your fashionable blue dress? Good, that's something unusual. Part five, additional pronunciation drills. Exercise one. Sh, s, she, see, show, so, ship, sip, shoe, sue, ash, ass, clash, class, leash, lease, mesh. Miss. Exercise two. Rouge. Pleasure. Mirage. Decision. Leisure. Treasure. Usual. Invasion. Measure. Garage. Casual. Conclusion. Exercise three. National treasures. A special occasion. Measure for measure. Shoulder to shoulder. A casual decision. An unusual conclusion. This shop sells fashionable shorts and shirts. She sells fish and shellfish fresh from the ocean. The explosion was of unusual force. And completely destroy the garage. Exercise four. Dialogue one. But how can you measure pleasure? You can measure anything. But pleasure is immeasurable. It's not immeasurable. If it were measurable, then it wouldn't be pleasurable. Dialogue two. A shirt, sir. Yes, sir. This will suit you. It's in a very fashionable shade. Hmm. I want something simpler. A silver, perhaps. It's got some special sewing on the sleeve. Can't you show me a simple shirt in an ordinary shade? Perhaps I should try the next shop. Now let me see, sir. Let me see.、Mm. Ah. Perhaps I will try the next shop. Lesson twenty-three. Huh. <sighs> Part one. Words. Holding an apple, heating the milk, 
hiding behind a tree. Hitting a nail. R. Reading the newspaper. Running a race. Writing a letter. Crying hard. Part two: Questions and answers. What's the little boy holding in his hand? He is holding a big red apple. What are these two girls doing? They are playing hide and seek. What's their mother doing? She's heating the milk on the stove. What's their father doing? He's hitting a nail on the wall. What's Robert doing? He's reading today's newspaper. What's Mary doing? She's writing a letter to a friend. Why is Susan crying? Because she's lost her brother's camera. Why is John running so fast? Because he's going to run a one hundred meter race. Part three: Dialogue. Mary, it was wrong of you to be so late. Mother is very worried. I'm so sorry I'm late, but Henry's car broke down. I don't really like Henry. I like my rose. I don't like your rose, and I do love Henry, and I'm going to marry him. But my rose is great. Your rose is a big fool. Really, Mary, you are horrible. Why don't you marry Rose then? Part five: Additional pronunciation drills. Exercise one: Heat. Heart. Hate. Hair. Hi. Hit. Hold. Home. House. Hall. A hat in hand. Hold it high. Here's your home. How hot! Hide the horse. Hit the head. How high! Whose house? Harry's has hurt his hand with a heavy hammer. Henry hit himself behind a high hedge. Harold greeted me with a heavy hello and a handshake. Exercise two. How happy Henry is! Yes, he's always happy. How handsome Henry is! Henry is handsome, isn't he? And how hardworking Henry is! Henry does work hard. And how honest Henry is! Oh, is Henry honest? Exercise three. R. L, read, lead, red, lead, rip, lip, wrong, long, right, light, rate, late. A red red rose. Read and write. Harry and Mary. Hungry and angry. Very, very worried. Brave but crazy. The right road. The wrong road. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Little Rose is eager to learn to read and write. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Mary is wearing a very pretty dress today. Exercise four. You must write to Robert. I've written to him already. You must write to Roger then. I've written to him already. Good. But what about a letter to Ruth? I've written to her already. Have you? What about Richard then? I've written to Richard already. Oh, that's good. But you must write to Rose, you know. I've written to Rose already. 
What a lot of letters you must have written today. Yes, and I'm going to write my last letter to Ronald. <laughs> Lesson twenty four. Ch, G. Part one. Words. An armchair. A jar of jam. A child. A jeep. A church. A judge. A latch. A bridge. Part two. Questions and answers. Who's sitting in the armchair? Jane is. She's sitting there and knitting a sweater for her child. Where's her child? In the garden. He's playing with his electric jeeps. Look at this picture of a church. What are the people doing? They're having a church service. A priest is preaching. What's the man doing in this picture? He's striking a match to light his cigarette. What's in the jar in this picture? Well, jam. It's a jar of strawberry jam. The jeep in this picture looks nice. Is it yours? No, it's John's. Yes, it's a nice jeep. It's the latest model of jeeps made in Beijing, China. Who's walking on this bridge? The judge is. He enjoys a walk on this bridge after work. Part three, dialogue. How are the children doing in your class, Jane? They're all doing fine. Let me show you some of their pictures. Which child is this? That's Charles. What a large child! All my children are large. And which child is this? That's James. What an agile child! All my children are agile. Now, which child is this? That's Joanna. Joanna hopes to go to college. Hmm. All my children hope to go to college, right? Part five: Additional pronunciation drills. Exercise one. Ch, j, cheap, jeep, chu, ju, chest, chest, choice, choice, h, age, batch, badge, rich, ridge, march, march. Exercise two. Ch, sh, chair. Share. Cheat. Sheet. Chop. Shop. Cheer. Sheer. Ch, ts. Match. Mats. Catch. Cats. Coach. Coats. Batch, bats. Exercise three. John and Jane. A jeep on the bridge. A large college. Page after page. Enjoy the jam. A large jar of jam. The judge in the church. A damaged bridge. Jane had chicken and French fries for lunch. John urged Jane to buy a digital watch. Jack enjoyed the strawberry jam very much. Jim has to read the book page after page. Exercise four. In just a few hours, we'll do the next part of the journey by plane. So jump into bed. And get some rest, John. Will it be a jet, Uncle Jim? Probably a jet. A jumbo jet. Hmm.
probably. Well, good night, John. Zoom. Pleasant dreams, John. Thank you, Uncle Jim. <laughs> Lesson twenty five. Mm, mm, mm. Part one Words mm, A medal, a melon, Tom, Tom's home, mm, two needles, a bowl of noodles, a man. A woman. Mm, sing. Song. Dancing. Swimming. Part two. Questions and answers. Any good news from the Olympic Games? Yes. Deng Yaping won two gold medals yesterday. What's in this picture? A big watermelon. It's more than ten kilos. It's the biggest watermelon I've ever seen. What's Tom doing here? He's sitting on a sofa together with his wife and daughter watching TV. What are the man and woman eating? They're eating noodles. Oh no, I mean they're eating noodles, of course. Do you like singing and dancing? Yes, I do. In fact, I'm fond of singing and mad about dancing. What about swimming? Well, I do like swimming, but I'm only a beginner. Part three, dialogue. Hello, what's your name? Jane. I'm Brian. Can I sit here? Yes, please do. Do you like Miami? I don't think it's very nice, and my father doesn't like it. But my mother likes it, so we often come here. How often? Well, we come here almost every month. Who's that? It's my mother. She's fond of swimming, and that's my father. He just sits there and watches my mother. Do you like swimming? No, I dislike swimming because I nearly drowned once. Part five: Additional pronunciation drills. Exercise one. Mm, mm, mean. Me. Plain. Play. Train. Tray. John, Joe, mm, mm, Anne, Anne, Kane, Kane, Gun, Gum, Phone, Phone, mm, mm, Sin, Sing, Thin, Thing, Win. Wing, ran, ran, mm, l, no, low, not, lot, knife, live, need, lead. Exercise two. Tom is leaving now. Brian is fond of ham and jam. Brahm is the name of a German composer. From morning till evening, Sam sings the same song again and again. Exercise three. Norman went, and he never returned. He went, when? Oh, about the end of June. Did he send the rent? Yes. And have found a new tenant, Nancy Smith. I hope there won't be any problems. You know Nancy, don't you? 
Well, I once lent her some money, and she never returned it. Lesson twenty-six. The. Part one. Words. A lion. A girl. A lady. A doll. A lark. A bottle of oil. A lawn. A bottle of milk. Part two. Questions and answers. Look at the lion in this picture. Why isn't the lady afraid of it? Because she's a lion tamer. She's taming the lion. Do you see the bird on the lawn? What kind of bird is it? It's a lark, a songbird. It can sing beautifully. The little girl is holding something in her hand, isn't she? What's she holding? A pretty doll. Its eyes can open and close, and it can even smile and sing. What's on the table? Is it a bottle of oil or a bottle of milk? A bottle of milk. The bottle of oil is in the cupboard. Part three, dialogue. Mother, father, come in, please. Yes, please come in. Welcome to our new home. Do you like it? It's very nice. I think it's beautiful. Sit down, please. Coffee or tea? I don't like tea. We like coffee. This is the living room. Do you like it? Yes, it's lovely. What do you think of that table? I like it. Such a beautiful small table. I'm sorry, I don't like it. I don't like small tables. I like your music. I don't like that music. I don't like pop music at all. I prefer classical music. Part five. Additional pronunciation drills. Exercise one. Live. Like. Look. Last. Lunch. Listen. Laugh. Light. L. Alike. Polite. Police. Believe. Toilet. Dollar. Popular, college, all, all, well, kill, heal, April, dial, schedule, control. Exercise two. L, n, line, nine, lead, need. Light, night, life, knife, l, r, lead, read, light, right, law, raw, glass, grass. Exercise three. The last lesson. Eleven o'clock. Long live Lillian, a beautiful child. Live alone. Salad and lemon. Leave me alone. Phil and Bill and Lucy. Live and learn. Live and let live. Look before you leap. Like father, like son. Let sleeping dogs lie. A little pill may well cure a great ill. The love of money is the root of all evil. Exercise four. 
If you look at the card catalog in the library, you'll find a history of the lakes. The lakes were a large, rich, but unlucky family. They had 13 children. The first 11 were killed in mysterious, fatal accidents. And the 12th, Lance. Poor Lance was eaten by wolves. And the remaining child, the last of the lakes. I was lucky. I inherited everything. Lesson 27 Yeah. Part 1 Words A wardrobe A yacht A washing machine A yacht A wheelchair A youngster A watermelon the yolk. Part 2. Questions and answers. Come and eat the watermelon. So sweet and juicy. It makes my mouth water. What a beautiful melon. Who's sitting in a wheelchair? My aunt. She can't walk. So I bought her this wheelchair. Now she can go around the house in her wheelchair. What's this? Looks like a refrigerator. No, it isn't. It's a washing machine. We use it to wash our clothes. It saves a lot of time and trouble. Now look at this. What kind of furniture is it? It's a wardrobe. It's very useful. I keep all my clothes in it. And what's this? What's the English for this kind of boat? It's a yacht. It's a light boat built specially for racing. What do you call this? I mean, the land before the farmhouse. You mean this? Oh, it's a farmyard. And what's the youngster doing in this picture? He's helping his father cut down a tree. Part 3. Dialogue Where's the wagon? Where's what wagon? The water wagon. What water wagon? The wagon with the water, of course. That's my wagon. I need the water to water my flowers in the yard. No, you can't do that. There isn't much water in that wagon. And we need the water for drinking. Part 5. Additional pronunciation drills. Exercise 1. Watch. Wish. Wait. Word. Well. Wife. Wall. Work. Water. Wash. Woman. Wardrobe. What. Why. Where. When. Which. White. Wheel. Whale. While. Whip. Whisper. Whistle. Yes. You. Your. Young. Yard. Yacht. Yoke. Yellow. Youngster. Yesterday. New York. Exercise 2. Which woman? Which week? Which year? Wait a while. Why wait? Quite quick. Quick work. Wet with sweat. When and where? No sweet without sweat. Willie is wet with sweat. I always eat sandwiches on Wednesday. The White House is in Washington, D.C. Where there's a will, there is a way. Yale is the name of a large university. 
California is larger than New York. You will soon get used to the new youngster. Do you usually get up as early as you did yesterday? Exercise three. W. We waddle away from the water, and now we will waddle back. Then swish, swish, we're swimming again. Quack, quack, quack. W. Y. When the orchard yield will be gathered soon, and the fields beyond are yellow with corn. The dog in our yard awakes with a yawn, and yaps and yelps at the yellow moon. Lesson twenty-nine. Exercise one. No. Yes. Look, push, wait, stop, when, where, why, quick, oh, speak, fine, sure, start, next. Exercise two. He can't. We are late. I know. It's mine. He's gone. You are right. I'm wrong. Of course. They've come. She's ill. Exercise three. We haven't time. You must take him home. I'll come as soon as I can. I like your new hat. We'll meet you at the station. There are some new books on the shelf. My wife smokes as much as I do. That's the best shop for shoes. We've been trying to get in touch with you all day. It would be better to phone for the doctor. I shall have to pump the tires up. Exercise four. What's the time? When can you come? Who's there? Where have you put it? What day is it? What's the date? How far is it from here to the airport? How can I help you? Who would like some chocolate? Why can't you? What's the matter? Who's coming with me? When do the shops open? Which do you like best? Why don't you listen? What do you want me for? Lesson thirty. Exercise five. I should like you to come immediately after tea. Where did you say you had put my glasses? They promised to come to see me on their arrival. Which is the best way to get to the station from here? I wonder if I ought to take my raincoat with me. We shan't be able to see each other for a long time. It's about the worst time of the year for catching cold. It's been a very enjoyable evening. For all of us, George plays football every Saturday afternoon. Exercise six. Did the postman bring any letters today? They managed to catch the last bus into town. I'm sorry, I couldn't quite make out what you were saying. My husband always does the washing up for me. We play tennis for an hour in spite of the rain. My eldest daughter has decided to take up accounting as a career. 
you must be quick if you want to get your shopping done in time. My father likes to take a short nap immediately after his lunch. It would be a good idea to ask some friends in to celebrate the new year. Where have you put the box of sweets that I left in the bottom of the cupboard? <laughs> Lesson 31 She gave him the letter and told him to post it, but not to take too long about it. Exercise 7 They had dinner at a restaurant and then went to a show. She signed the letter, holded it, and put it in an envelope. The grocer weighed the butter wrapped it up and gave it to his customer. I went to my brother's room for the book, but the door was locked, so I couldn't get it. Take the first turning on the right. Keep straight on till you come to a small bridge. Then take the next turning on the left. You should eat more fruit and vegetables but keep off potatoes and bread. She lay the table, put the kettle on, and then cut the bread for tea. You must wash the cut, clean it with antiseptic, then put a plaster over it. You've done it quite well, much better than last time. It's a thing for adults only. Not suitable for children. Exercise 8. Stand up. Sit down. Stop talking. No arguing. Be quick. Speak up. Don't cry. Wait a minute. Come again tomorrow. A cup of coffee for me. Never leave what you can do today till tomorrow. Come to my office at once. Exercise 9 What a pity! How interesting! What a sad story! How beautiful! What a shame! How silly she is! What lovely weather! What a naughty boy! What a good idea! How exciting! How late you are! What a man! Lesson 32 Exercise 1 No Yes. Me. Him. All. These. Those. Mine. Yours. Whose. Who. When. Where. For. Five. Exercise two. Mary. Doesn't she? Must you? Shall I? Does he? Will they? Should we? Shouldn't I? Is it? Isn't it? Were they? Wasn't he? Has he? Hasn't she? Do they? Will he? Are they? Can't we? Mustn't you? Or try to? Exercise 3 can you hear? Will you be there? Have they gone? Can you see? Do you know? May I come in? Did he go? Are we late? Is it yours? Have you time? May I try? Are you afraid? 
Is it all right? Must you go? Can I help? Are you on the phone? <laughs> Lesson 33. Have they spoken to you? Shall we ask him for it? Exercise 1. Did you enjoy it? May I borrow it? Are you ready? Can you manage? Does it matter? Must you go now? Is it raining? Did he visit her? Have they damaged it? Can I help you? Did anyone telephone? Were you looking for me? Shall we ask him for it? Are we invited? Will you be writing to him about it? Exercise 2 Did anyone remember to lock the front door? Did you have a good holiday? Have you heard the latest news? Has the letter been answered? Have you asked Mary and John to come? Would you like another slice of bread? Can you come to the pictures with me tonight? Have you got the tickets for the football match? May I wait here till they come back? Do you mind if I open the window? Will you be staying there long? Do you like reading in bed? Were you in time for the concert? Must we buy the tickets now? Did the postman bring any letters today? Can anybody tell me the name of the young man who was speaking just now? Lesson 34 Exercise 1 That's right. Don't trouble. Please sit down. That's all. Don't leave. If you like. I'm so sorry. Keep on trying. Pass the salt, please. That's enough. Goodbye. Good morning. I beg your pardon. Come again soon. Don't forget to write. That's the way. Let me know how you get on. Exercise 2. What is your name? What can I do for you? Where do you live? How old are you? When have you time? What can I do for you? What's the matter? Which coat is yours? Why don't you know? When do you get up? What time shall I come? Where shall we meet? Why wasn't it finished? When may I go? Where am I to sit? What's your number? What's got to be done next? What would you like to drink? Where were you last year? Exercise 3 I'm Richard. R-I-C-H-A-R-D One, two, three four, five, five all together. July the 7th, 1997. Spring, summer, autumn and winter. We can speak four languages, English, French, Spanish and German. I like oranges, bananas, apples and pears. <laughs>
Lesson thirty five. After the game, we had some tea. When he came, I asked him to tea. Exercise one. In spite of the rain, they all came as they had promised. Since her illness, she has never really looked well. After all, you've still got another chance. On the stroke of midnight, they all raised their glasses to drink to the new year. When he saw us, he ran away. Although she was very poor, she was extremely honest. When the winter is over, we must have the house painted. So hard did he work that he was quite worn out. Before you tell us any more, you must have something to eat. Without knowing what she was doing, she began to cry. Exercise two. Shall I go there, or will you come here? Do you want to go out or stay home? Shall we walk, or shall we go by bus? Are we going to put the money in the bank or keep it at home? Is he coming here in May or June? Does Richard want to buy a house or an apartment? Do you want me to go to Oxford or Harvard? Are we going to get married or live together like this all our lives? Exercise three. I firmly believe we shall succeed. You shouldn't think you are something out of the ordinary. Never leave to others. What you ought to do yourself. How you got there remains unknown. The question is, how we can get in touch with him. He says he's not qualified for the job. My brother, whose wife is a doctor, has gone abroad. The huge building, which is still new, belongs to our company. Everybody says that it is an excellent film. He knows that she'll leave him sooner or later. <laughs>
Have some tea, will you? Make it next Monday, shall we? Don't worry, will you? Shut the door, will you? Turn on the TV, will you? Do me a favour, will you? Be a good girl, will you? Wash the dishes, will you? Lesson thirty seven. Exercise one. He's an honest man, isn't he? It's a fine day, isn't it? She doesn't work hard, does she? It's about the Second World War, isn't it? Sampras took the first prize, didn't he? Henry used to look young and smart, didn't he? You like coffee, don't you? Chinese food is quite popular there, isn't it? Exercise two. I will talk to him about it when he comes. There was no one in the room when I got there. I'll send a call for you if you give me your number. Please come to dine with us before you leave. I try to keep warm and drink a lot of water whenever I have a cold. Let's get started since you're all here. I began to prepare dinner as soon as I got home. She begged me to stay when I insisted going. Exercise three. You've worked very well so far. Keep it up. I don't want to make a decision at once. I'll talk it over with John. I can never talk easily with him. We seem to have nothing in common. None of us is perfect. We all make mistakes. We'll do it some way or other. I'm not quite sure how. Don't beat about the bush. Come to the point. I had a headache this morning, but it soon passed off. Three of the speakers are strongly for. One is strongly against. <laughs> Lesson 38 1. Of course, he's a great man. To tell the truth, I didn't go to school. Worse still, I have no money. 2. This, I think, is the right way to do it. When do you suppose you'll finish the job? Three. That's a difficult problem, to be sure. He may be late, I'm afraid. Are you having a cold? he asked. Let's clean the room right now, Mother said quickly. Excuse me, said Mary patiently and pleasantly. Part two. One. Have you seen the film, Gone with the Wind? Two. Our university lies in the suburb of Beijing, the capital of China. Part three. One. My darling, don't be silly. Mum, isn't the skirt too big for me? Two. I say, Zona, you do look pale. Hello, Bill. Can I help you? Three. I'm not cold, Father. Don't be late, son. How beautiful you are, Mary. What's happened, Susan? Aren't you going to call me, Mr. Richard? 
Will you play the piano with me, Jones? Thank you.